Part 1. Creating an account. Open SAPA. Tap on Create a new account. Here you will have to enter your mobile number and email address. Tap on next to proceed. A verification link will be sent via SMS to your mobile number and via email to your email address to verify the details. Here you enter your full name. Next you provide us with your date of birth which is used only for account creation purposes and is never shown on your profile. Finally you pick a username and a password for your account. Tapping on next will create your SAPA account. Part 2. Setting up your profile. Once you have created your account on SAPA, you will have to set up your profile to be able to use the app. Tap on the camera icon to choose a profile photo. You can either choose to take a photo or choose a photo from your library. When prompted by the operating system, make sure to allow to proceed. Once you have chosen or taken a photo, Pinch and move the photo to make sure that your face is clearly visible so that others in the real world can easily identify you. If your face isn't visible, your photo will not be accepted. Next, fill in at least any three of the following about information to proceed. Here you can choose to showcase information about yourself, such as your hometown, your school, your workplace, languages that you know to speak, a link to your website, and also your relationship status. You can then choose to add a bio to your profile, which is optional. Finally, you can choose to add up to six photos to your photo tiles in your profile for others to see and like. You can hold and drag to rearrange the photos if you'd like, or tap on the cross to remove a photo. You can then move back and forth to make sure everything you've entered is all right and make any changes if required. Finally, tapping on finish will complete your profile setup and take you into the core of the app. The operating system then asks you for location, Bluetooth and push notification permissions of which you must allow the Bluetooth permission for the app to work because that is how SAPA discovers others around you. Part 3. Logging in. Open SAPA and tap on login. Enter your username or registered email address or mobile number. And then enter your password. And then tap login. Part 4. Recovering your account. Open SAPA and tap on login. Then tap on recover account and choose your preferred mode of recovering your account, SMS or email. Then enter your registered SAPA email address or mobile number and tap on next. A password reset link will immediately be sent to your inbox from where you can tap on reset password which will then take you to a web page where you can enter your new password. Then tapping on reset will reset your password. Additionally, a security alert will also be emailed to you in case the password was not reset by you. Part 5. Editing your profile. From the home screen, tap on My Profile on the bottom right corner. Here you can see a preview of your own profile. 
tap on the pencil icon to edit your profile. Tap on the camera icon to change your profile photo. You can either choose to take a photo from your camera or choose one from your library. When prompted by the operating system, allow access to proceed. Once you've chosen or taken a photo, pinch and move the photo to make sure that your face is clearly visible so that others in the real world can easily identify you. If your face isn't visible, your photo will not be accepted. You can then choose to edit your bio and about information. Finally, you can choose to add up to six photos to your photo tiles in your profile for others to see and like. Tapping on save on the top right will save all the changes you've made to your profile and update it. Part 6.1 Enabling Bluetooth SAPA uses Bluetooth to discover nearby people. You must have your Bluetooth enabled for the app to work. Part 6.2 Bluetooth Permission If you have not allowed for Bluetooth permission, the app won't work. You must head to your phone settings and enable Bluetooth for SAPA for the app to work. Part 6.3 Location Permission When prompted by the system, it's recommended that you allow for location permission. This way SAPA works efficiently and you discover people much faster. Part 7 Controlling your visibility To change your visibility, go to settings from the bottom left corner of your home screen and turn off your visibility. Now no one can see you and neither can you see anyone. You can then tap on go visible to go visible again. Part 8. The bubble view. When your Bluetooth's enabled and you're visible, you will start seeing other SAPA users around you show up as these beautiful floating bubbles on your home screen. We call this the bubble view. You can browse through the bubbles by moving them left or right and they respond with realistic physics. The bubble view is designed to handle an infinite number of bubbles by looping them through the left and right of your screen. Tapping on a bubble opens up that particular user's profile. Whereas tapping and holding on a bubble gives you the option to block that user right away. Part 9. Refresh Tapping on the refresh button on the bottom center of your home screen refreshes the Bluetooth scanning. Part 10. Live Demo Here you can see a live demonstration of when two users are visible and are near each other, they detect each other. Part 11. Push Notifications Opening a bubble on SAPA sends the other user a push notification and so does sending a friend request, accepting one, sending a message, etc. Part 12.1 Sending friend requests Tapping on a bubble opens that particular user's profile. Opening a profile from a bubble sends the other user a view notification. Tapping on the blue plus button sends the user a friend request. You can also choose to like a photo tile by tapping on the heart on the top right. Tapping on the grey plus button withdraws a pending friend request. Part 12.2 Blocking a user To block a user, open their profile, tap on the three dots on the top right, then tap on block, and then tap on block again. Part 12.3 Unblocking a user To unblock a user, head to Settings, Account, Blocked People and tap on Unblock. When you head back, if they are around you, they should pop up. Part 12.4 Unfriending a friend To unfriend a friend, 
open their profile, tap on the three dots on the top right, tap on unfriend and tap on unfriend again. Part 12.5 Reporting a user To report a user, open their profile, tap on the three dots on the top right and then tap on report. From here, choose an option and tap on report. Reporting a user will also block the user for you. Part 13 Notifications List To see your notifications, tap on the Notifications tab on the center top of your home screen. In here, you can see different types of notifications ordered chronologically. Notifications that are marked Seen expire in 7 days. You can swipe left on any notification and tap on Delete to delete it permanently. Whereas swiping left on a friend request gives you the option to decline the friend request. Tapping on any notification opens the user's profile. Tapping on the check mark button accepts the friend request. Tapping on a photo shows a preview of your photo that was liked. Part 14 Friends List To see your friends list, tap on the Friends tab on the left top corner of your home screen. Here you can search for your friends, see their profiles, and also chat with them. Part 15 Messages and Chat To check out your messages, Tap on the Messages tab on the top right corner of your home screen. Here you can see all your threads with your friends. You can also search for a friend, head to their chat and type and send them a message. You can swipe left on any thread to delete it. Tapping on any thread will also open the chat page. Here you can swipe left and up and down to see the message timestamps. You can choose to send a text message or even a GIF. You can double tap on any message to like it. Tapping and holding on a message gives you many options such as copy, unsend, like or unlike. Tapping on the three dots on the top right corner gives you options to mute or unmute the chat and delete the conversation thread. Part 16 Settings. To open settings, tap on the settings icon on the bottom left of the home screen. Let's check out account. In here, you can change your full name, date of birth, username, password, mobile number, and email address. You can also see the list of users that you have blocked. Finally, tapping on Logout will log you out. Moving on, in Notifications, you can choose to disable or enable different types of push notifications. In the Help section, you can check out our legal documents and find help or contact support. You can choose to deactivate your account or even delete your account. You can drop us a feedback anytime by heading to the feedback section. About opens the SAPA webpage where you can read about the app. And finally, we have the toggle for visibility where you can turn off and on your visibility.